What's up? Welcome to the world of Ace Hook. Now, today we're going to be playing some City Skyline, and this series is going to be structured kind of like my Sim City offline series, where I'm going to be adding mods throughout uh, the series, and we're just going to make the best city possible. So, right now, all I got is these mods. Um, I'm going to add more later, obviously, but uh, for now, we're good with these four. So uh, without further ado, let's jump in because you know no one wants to see the uh, menu screen. So let's play. Uh, let's play this one right here. Gab Gaben, all hell, Gaben height map. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not playing that. We're playing Delvin Bay. Um, so the reason I chose this map is because of all the coastlines. You see, it's it looks really nice, um, especially when we add uh, our buildings in. So. Yeah, so here we go. So I'm gonna start this off kind of like how I start off every every map in my SimCity map. Um, I'm gonna do the standard grid styles, and as you can see, um, there's a nice little coast here. So what I'm thinking is um, they're gonna be like some high. Uh, some high densities uh, buildings right here but that's uh, that's gonna have to wait because first of all we want to build up our economy so let's pause this first um, so we're gonna make a, a temporary grid here um, just nothing special you know just a temporary little grid we will demolish it later Okay, so, um, yeah. So, this is how I usually start off my cities um, in SimCity. I don't know if it works in this. I tried it before and it worked pretty nice. So, basically, what I do is I just make a, a grid with uh, dirt roads because dirt roads are the most cost effective in the early game because they're so cheap and uh, you can build a lot really quickly with it because they're so cheap and I'm trying to get these guidelines to match up and before I do that let me turn off my game music so I don't get copyrighted alright cool so um, let's try to get these roads perpendicular to this road right here like so And uh, you just want to line up your grids here. Um, of course, all of this is temporary. So this little dirt grid, we might keep some aspects of it, but in the end, ultimately, we're going to uh, change it. But for now, for the early game, this is the best way to start, in my opinion. Because uh, you're not spending all your money on roads right away, and you have a little bit of uh, revenue in the bank. Okay, um, I think we will add a road here, and this will branch off, kind of like so. Trying to get the grids to align perfectly. Oh well, we have a little space. That's that's fine. <clears throat> we just want to focus on this for now, and I think I'm going to put uh, some a some what is it called? It's called industry, right? I'm gonna put some industry here. So we're gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna spend some money on a. Oh, we can't do that yet. Oh, darn. Okay. So, um, we're going to have to... Hmm, how are we going to do this? I'm, I guess I can just make a road here and then just bridge it over for now. I think that's the best, so it's a page up. I should change it to M. I'm more used to it. And page down like so sweet okay 
And then let's just keep working on this grid that we are having here. So yeah, um, I'm relatively new to the game and uh, I still don't know any of tips and tricks, you know, zoning and stuff, but uh, what I can say is that this game plays a lot like Sims 4, if you've ever played that. It's, it's basically, yeah, it's, it's really close to a Sims 4 in terms of gameplay. Uh, because you got these little squares, it's it's a grid. So if you think about it, this game is like a hybrid of uh, Sims 5 and Sims 4. I don't know why I keep comparing this game to Sims. I just I, it's probably because I played those game for a really long time. So um, the transition over. Of course, I'm going to make comparisons. It's just kind of like a like those people who go and play Dota when they they usually play League of Legends. And then they're like, oh my god, you know, in League of Legends, you can do blah blah blah, where's the recall button, bro? I've actually had to play with someone like that, and it was really annoying when I was playing Dota. Okay, so I think that's good enough for now. We can add some more later. We're, um, for now, let's um, get some grids here for the industrial side. Uh, of course, we're going to move the industry uh, away, so it's not near the water. Uh, but for now we can just put it here or we could turn this into like a little port area where we can have ships come in and uh, do their little thing I guess we can do that for now um, I guess we can make one more Uh, and then we'll connect this up here. Okay, so now we got this little grid. Um, nothing too fancy. So I've has it, I have it paused. So what we're gonna do first? Um, let's see. Where is the fastest? I think this is the closest to the highway. So we're going to put a coal plant here. I like to start off with coal plant and not wind plant because. Uh, Wind plant, I find it takes up too much room and it, does, it doesn't give as much power output. And in the early game, um, you don't really need that much. So, so in the beginning, I usually put down a coal plant and a what is it? Water pumping station. I guess we'll put it here. And because, um, and I would. Uh, turn all of these down until the demand needs it because in the early game it really it's really taxing on uh, the dollars you know so let's um, zone all these here I'm just gonna just paint all these except here I'm gonna be a bit more conservative here because I'm gonna put in some of these kind of like that and zone the rest as residential okay um, for some reason it looks weird I think it's because I've used the uh, tropical let's change it to none for now I, th I think the colors will stand out a bit more it's a bit darker but the colors is more yeah I see so I'm gonna do that and actually we're gonna replace some of this with uh, commercial because we need a good balance and our power lines yeah that's the one that's one thing I really liked about this game is the power line feature I guess like that and then connect this to here and then we need our water pipes So, uh, you know, a good way to lay down water pipes is uh, be really efficient with the pipes as possible. So, um, try to squeeze them as close as possible like this. Oh god, okay, I need a water drain pipe before we do anything else. Because once we go negative, it's hard to get back out. 
Okay, I think I'm going to branch it off like this because I'm low on money. God damn it. <laughs> See, this is why you build with dirt roads. Uh, because you have the money to do this, this kind of thing. Alright. Let's just let this play and I'm going to go negative for a bit, but hopefully it'll fix itself. Um, I'm hoping this industry develops here soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't power line the oh, sewage. Damn it. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be in the red for a bit because our power lines aren't hooked up here. But hopefully no one abandons this early into the game. I'm just letting this uh, develop. And why isn't industry coming in? That's interesting. Okay, there we go. We got industry. Although it's not a lot. We need a lot. We need more here. So our power. Alright, there we go. So our power is hooked up, hopefully. Yes, it is. I didn't make any power lines from the... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so I'm such a genius, am I? I didn't make any power lines from here, and I'm oh okay, cool. We got seventeen thousand. That's good. All right, there we go. Now everything should be powered. Yes, yes, yes. No. Ah, it'll it'll get there. Um. And we need pipes from here. Oh yeah, we already have pipes. I meant we need electricity from here to here. Uh, I'm gonna let this cut across for a bit, just uh, temporarily. And we need to, all right, let me pause this first. Uh, we need to get all of these piped in before we go bankrupt again. Okay, cool. And now let this play, and all the dots should go away. Very nice, that's how we do it. Cool. So, let's see here. We need garbage and healthcare. I think we're, we're, I'm going to wait till we get into the green first. Alright, cool, we're in the green. Um, are people complaining about water yet? So that's still high. Uh, electricity is kind of edging, so I'm gonna bump this up a bit. So maybe 60%. Actually, I have that mod where. Can I just do this? Huh. Oh. Never mind. I don't know how that mod works. So cool. We got a little cool. Uh, we got a little foundation going here. Um, I think we need to add more roads between these two areas because there's going to be a lot of traffic. But then again, we have plenty of uh, intersections on this freeway. So I think I don't think that's even um, necessary. All right. So let's uh let's go ahead and start expanding this a bit more here. All right, cool. We leveled up again. So this is basically what you're aiming for, just fast development early on. And you have to keep a look at your demand to ensure um, to ensure everything's going well. Okay, um, I think I'm going to have this road come out. And then curve in like this. For now. Obviously we're going to replace all these roads later. With avenues and stuff. But that's that's a lot later. When we're super rich and we're, we can afford to uh, demolish a lot of things.
Okay. Um, I think we'll have another road trailing here. And connect this up to the highway so we can have good traffic flow. That bugs me. I like things to be perfectly symmetrical. I like these grids though, um, these these grid lines, and uh, we need to bump up our water, and we need to place in a garbage dump. Garbage dump. Put it right there. Cool. So now we're making a thousand an hour. It's pretty cool. Uh, we need to boost our power, and we leveled up again, which is really nice. Okay, so let's see what is the what is the problem? All right, we need to boost this up a, a lot more. I think I'll just uh, leave it a hundred percent because we're making decent cash right now, and uh, our garbage seems to be good. Now, one thing I don't get, I don't know about this game is these um, policies. Obviously, they're like Sims 4's uh, ordinances, but I haven't played around with this a bit more, a bit much. Mm, let's see here. Smoke detector, power, uh, water usage. I think I'm going to do this. No. I don't know. We can fiddle with that later if anyone can tell me the recommended ordinances to put. And I haven't played around with districts at all uh, quite yet. So um, if anyone could give me some insight on how those work, that would be very much appreciated. But it looks like things are going pretty slow. I'm at a population at 1,000 now, which is uh, pretty good. And I think we're going to start putting in our services here. So we'll have a clinic. We'll have a fire department somewhere here. Fire. There we go. And a crime thing. A police station. Sweet. So I kind of don't know how um, the income works in this. Uh, is it like, do you get it daily or let's see here. What does this number mean? I don't know. We, we I'll figure it out later. But uh, I think we will put down a school for now. I um, guess we'll put it here. Why not? Alright, sweet. So now um, that's a pretty good f uh, foundation for a big city looks really nice kind of like a little country suburban city but as time goes on we're going to develop this into like a huge urban sprawl around the rivers because if you look at rivers in real life um, most of the big cities are planted near rivers well that's a nice waterfall there uh, so when I first got this game right I was like I looked at the plot size and I was like what the f is this this is this is like no different than SimCity, you know, it's it's still small. And then later on in the game, I, I discovered areas and I was just like, oh my god, that is amazing. And with that mod where you could buy 25 tiles, that's just like the whole map. That's amazing. So, yeah. So I, I'm guessing um, these cars aren't actually like doing anything they're just for aesthetics and they show the volume of traffic kind of like uh number four sims four sim city four you okay, i see if you provide good services and education and high land value the zone buildings will improve to higher level buildings they pay more taxes and offer more jobs and pollution is reduced all right cool so let's uh, up our land value here with this small playground pretty nice um, little bungalows here 
They are unhappy. How come? How are your buildings doing? So these guys, okay, that's because they were it was uninhabited. But I think right now we have a pretty good foundation for a city, and uh, I'm gonna leave it off as this. So if you've enjoyed this series and you want to see more, please like it and put in the comments what you uh, suggest. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next time, and yeah, peace.